Hey guys, so today we are gonna be doing a, a haul, a good old fashioned haul. So I've purchased some things, I've also received some things in PR, and what I will do as usual is I will leave the PR things towards the end of this video. So if you are not interested in that, you can just click off. So let's go ahead and jump into the things that I've purchased. And I'm gonna start with what is on my eyes. So I did purchase the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals palette. I think that's the name of it, Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1. And I don't know what order uh, I'm gonna be uploading these videos. So you may have just seen <laughs> the first impressions video that I did on this eyeshadow palette, or it will be coming up. You should subscribe if you are interested. You should subscribe anyway, but you should subscribe if you are interested in my first impressions of this Tati palette. So like I said, it is what I have on my eyes, and this is what the palette looks like. It is really lovely. It is really quite nice. And in that video, I'll give you all of my kind of first impressions, thoughts on it. Um, you know, you'll see swatches and all that sort of thing. So I won't bore you now with it, but I did want to let you know that I did purchase it. And spoiler alert, I am enjoying it. So that is the Tati palette. And the other thing I purchased is, and I'm realizing I have a bit of a problem, but <laughs> with candles. So I purchased the um, Diptyque Protective Pine Candle, and I just was such a sucker for the packaging. And I love like pine, fir, like tree scents. I just, I love it. It's so fresh. And for me, it's perfect for when the weather gets cooler. I love burning it with the Diptyque Faux de Bois candle. That is this guy and I'm running low on this one, but this smells like a campfire or a wood burning fireplace. So when you match it up with a pine scented candle. Oh my God, it smells so, so good. It just smells like you're outside. Oh, it just smells amazing. Like this combo, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I couldn't resist this like festive holiday packaging, this scent, it's really good. I've already started burning it. I really love it, but yeah, I have a bit of a candle problem. If you guys watched my tidying up my beauty room video, you saw that I was like collecting all of these candles that I've purchased over the past few months that I haven't even gotten to yet. So yeah, I need to slow down on the candle purchases, but I did get this and I'm happy I did because it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And then I think I mentioned this in my Sephora VIB recommendations video, I think I did. This is the Guerlain Meteorites Golden Land. So this is their holiday 2019 version of their meteorites, which is those like pearl powder balls um, that they have. Wow, that was a wonderful description, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is this year's version. And what makes this year's version very unique is that it has these like red colored pearls in there. And that red, and I mentioned this in that Sephora video, the red does actually come off. It does actually look a little blushy on the face. So when I use this kind of all over my face and I was buffing it in, I really noticed it like on my forehead and my chin, basically the high points of my face. And I could see, like I could really see like the red in there. And it was actually very pretty. It just kind of looked like you were outside walking in the cold air or something. Like it just kind of gave you that little bit of flush to the skin. Really, really pretty. And it has the beautiful violet scent. It's just, it's lovely. So I really like this year's version of the meteorites. I think they're very, very pretty. So hopefully they'll pop up on the Guerlain retailers very soon. I also purchased a couple things at Beautylish during their gift card event. And I got these Lord Jones High CBD Formula Bath Salts. These guys right here. And this is what the jar looks like. It's, it's actually a nice amount of this stuff and you only need like a tablespoon. There's actually a scoop in here. I think you guys can see it. There's like a scoop in there. That's all you need for a bath. And I hurt my back. So I was putting this into a hot bath and it was very, very helpful. When I got out of the bath, I almost had like zero back pain and it lasted, it wasn't permanent cause I still have my back pain, but it lasted like until I fell asleep, which was great because you know, when you're in pain, it's hard to get comfortable and it takes a while to fall asleep, but this really helped in that whole process. So it's kind of become my nightly ritual now and you can see how much I've already used, um, but I really enjoy it. There's, let's see, 20 milligrams of CBD per scoop approximately. Um, there's 240 milligrams of CBD per jar. And I, I really, I really don't know much about CBD. I think there's a lot of claims that are outrageous, outrageous sounding. There's some claims that 
okay, seem to make sense like this, you know, relax the muscles, but I really don't know. I'm no like CBD THC expert in any way, um, but this does seem to work better than just plain old soaking or even I was using like the Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salts. Those are okay, you know, those are nice and relaxing or whatever, but this really took away the pain for like a couple of hours. And I am definitely going to continue using this. And I think during the Sephora VIB sale, I may pick up, they have like a whole line of CBD stuff. They have like an oil, a lotion. I may pick up the lotion just to kind of like rub on my back. So that is how much I am enjoying it. Why am I putting it back in the box? I also picked up uh, two Surat blushes, which I haven't even opened yet. I have been putting all of my Surat blushes and eyeshadows into like a big magnetic palette. And I had all the blushes like lined up beautifully, except that I was missing two. Uh, missing two as in like to make it even and symmetrical. So I thought, why not during the gift card event, purchase two. It's like, I wanna get them all anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I picked up two that I did not have, obviously. The first one is, say, Pompanier? Pompanier. I have no idea. But this is like the <laughs> like the fluorescent pink blush. Is that not absolutely amazing? Like absolutely amazing. If you just want like a hot pop on your cheek, I would just dust it like right here and right here. I mean, absolutely amazing. So that is, well, I will put all the information down below in the description box because I can't pronounce this, but there's the name. Say Pompanel. <laughs> and then the other one I got is Duchess. And this, this is like the complete opposite. This is Duchess. I think it could almost work as a highlight, but look at how pretty that peach is. Oh my gosh. Or even work, oh, you know what? I bet this would be awesome to set the under eye. Ooh, you probably can't see that through the camera. It's so faint, but it's so smooth. Kind of like smooths out the back of my hand. It does a nice job like blurring. You can probably see like the finish of it. Anyway, that is uh, Duchess. So those are the two new Surat Artistic blushes that I purchased at Beautylish. All right, I think those are all the things that I purchased myself. So let's go ahead and move into the PR products. So these are all things that I've been sent by companies. And let's start with the House of Siage. They sent me this gigantic package that I can't wait to show you guys. So they just did a collaboration with uh, a New York based uh, fashion designer, Christian Cowan. And I started to see all of these Instagram posts on it. Obviously I follow House of Siage on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, like my jaw dropped when I saw their lipstick case. So they're known for their perfumes. They're a perfume house, but they started coming out with lipstick and they have these amazing like enameled lipstick cases and they're shaped as like bows, bow ties. So I did a whole video on their cases and their lipsticks and how much I love them. And they're sitting here on my vanity, which says a lot. But here is one that they did. This is their Whispers of Truth. So this is the one that they had sent me um, a while back that I had done a video around. And then here is the Whispers of Admiration. They have a whole like Whispers line and I always get all the names mixed up. But I think this is the Whispers of Admiration. So this is pink with flowers. Here is this amazing package. Let's open this up together. So here is the box that they've packaged everything in. Wow, there's a lovely handwritten card in here. Um, we are so excited that you're one of the first ever to experience our newest limited edition collaboration with Christian Cowan. He's an up and coming designer on the rise, uh, famously dressed Cardi B for her debut album cover, Invasion of Privacy. Uh, he dresses other celebrities like Kylie Jenner, Lady Gaga, J-Lo, and more. So this collection is going to be available exclusively at Bloomingdale's and Saks Fifth Avenue um, in-store and online, I believe, the week of November 15th. So just in a couple of weeks, you guys will be able to get this if you're interested. Um, but here's like a little information card. Oh my God. Look at that. I love this checkerboard. It's so cool. Oh, wow, look at that. So that's what's inside this box. So this is the lipstick case. 
Um, this looks like a refillable lipstick and then the actual case for the lipstick case. <laughs> oh my God, look at this case. <gasps> so much fun. I love that. Love, love, love that. And then they included one lipstick refill. Ooh, Baroness. I actually really like this color. So that's the Baroness lip color. And then the case for the bow tie is imprinted with the Christian Cowan name. And then the little satin bag you can put the bow tie in also has the Christian Cowan in there. That is so cool. Okay, let me go ahead and open this guy up. Here's the box. Wow, this packaging is like out of control. This is very, very heavy. Amazing. And then I like how this looks like a flask. Isn't that cool? Oh my God. So you press this button, there's a button over here and it <laughs> it's like a spring release and the whole cap goes to the side and then you can spray it. Oh my God. It's like a warm, sweet scent. Ooh, that is so interesting. Okay, the scent of this is so interesting. I had to look up the notes. So I'm on the House of Siage site and this Passion de l'Amour site is like part of their signature collection. So it's like one of their best sellers. It's really unique. So the top notes are saffron and raspberry. The heart notes are caramel and amorous oil. And the base notes are oud and Leatrix Absolute. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much to House of Siage. This is so incredible. Again, you guys, this is gonna be available starting November 15th, Bloomingdale's and Saks. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But this packaging is like no other. <laughs> it's so cool. And then I got the most surprising box in the mail. I couldn't believe it when I opened this up. I was, my breath was really taken away. I was so moved. I was so touched that they would send me something, but this is from Clay de Poe. Oh, sorry, you can see my fan. This is from Clay de Poe, and they sent me their holiday collection. I, I couldn't believe it. I had to like sit down when I opened the box. I was like, what? Um, I Instagram story this, so I did get this um, probably about a week ago at this point. Um, but the included card says, Michelle, we hope you enjoy our limited edition holiday collection. Yes, yes I do. Okay, so um, included is this Radiant Multi Repair Oil. So this is the box that it came in. And this entire collection is inspired by kimonos and there is an artist that they actually feature on their Clay de Poe uh, YouTube site if you wanna take a look at it. It's a very, very short video, but you can watch the artist like actually paint and everything. Beautiful. She created all of the um, paintings on the inside, which I'll show you. Um, but this is like a kimono fabric printed on the outside. Isn't that beautiful? And then here is the limited edition bottle. So this multi-repair oil is not new. It's just in this limited edition packaging for the holidays. Isn't that incredible? And as you can tell, I've been using this maybe for the past few days. I just ran out of one of my oils that I was using. And so now I've been using this during the daytime and I love it. I think it looks really, really nice. It's like light enough and it absorbs quickly enough that I feel comfortable using it during the daytime. Like I don't need to wait for it before I put moisturizer on and then my makeup, etc. cetera. Um, so I really like it for daytime. That's when I've been using it. And I love it. I mean, this bottle is just gorgeous. And this is like a gigantic amount of oil, by the way. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. This is gonna take me forever to get through because I use about five drops when I'm being generous. I'll just like bring it all the way down my neck. I use about five, maybe six drops of this. So uh, so that is the multi repair oil. And then they did also send me the pressed powder, which I have, which you guys know. I love that pressed powder. It's gorgeous. Let me show it to you actually. So yeah, so here is the pressed powder. It's in the color 101 Blooming Cherry and I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so smooth. It's so fine. It just, ugh, it looks incredible on the skin. So I've been using this a lot actually. Um, so I've been loving that. And they also sent over the eye color quad. And let me actually open up this packaging. Well, here's the outer packaging for that. I mean, this packaging is just, 
Oh, it's stunning. It's really, really beautiful. And then here's the inside packaging for this eyeshadow quad. So this painting right here, that's the artist I was just talking about. And then this is taken from kimono fabric. Isn't that incredible? So the compact is just sitting in this box that's kind of sitting right here. And then there's like a little velvet pouch for it. So again, this was inspired by kimonos. So we have three shades here. And then this, I actually just looked up on the Clay de Pose site because I was like, what is that? Is it like shadow base? Am I supposed to put that down and then put the lighter colors on top? It's not. This is actually like a cream eyeliner. Isn't that cool? And then these three shades here are just for your lid. So let me just swatch. God. Clay de Pose shadows are so soft. So this is gonna give you obviously a very soft, natural look. So there are the three colors, really pretty. This peachy color, which I thought would be kind of like invisible on my skin, has just enough sheen. It's actually very, very pretty. So those are the three colors from the quad, which includes that cream eyeliner here. And this packaging is so beautiful. It's like origami. It's just absolutely stunning. And then they included two of the lipsticks that's part of this collection. Uh, one is, let's see, a lipstick cashmere. And that is in the color 512 Red Passion, and it comes in this limited edition red case. Here is that color. This is so beautiful. Gorgeous. This is like perfect holiday red. It's a little, like a teensy bit on the cooler side. There's like a little bit of blue in there. And then the other lipstick that they included is also, I think, part of this collection. Um, it's in color 511 Silk Passion, and it's one of their lipsticks. So this was their cashmere lipstick, and then this is one of their lipsticks, their regular lipsticks. Oh, how pretty. It's like a really soft pink. Ooh, so feminine. Look at that pink. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. And you can see how these two lipsticks would pair perfectly with these eyeshadows, just to give you a really pretty, girly look. Wow. So if you guys are interested in like a dedicated video on this like Clay de Poe collection, let me know. Um, comment down below or give this video a thumbs up or something. Um, and I will definitely do that for you because this collection is so, so beautiful. And a huge, huge thank you to Clay de Poe for sending over this beautiful box. Thank you so, so much. It means so much to me. All right, next up is uh, something that was sent to me that I, I'm just, I'm so excited about in every single way. And I already showed this in a live stream because I had just gotten it that morning and I was so excited about it. And you guys were so excited about it. But this is the Christian Audette um, collaboration with Mel Thompson. She's one of my favorite creators here on YouTube. We've collaborated before. We chat every once in a while, you know, through comments or whatever. And I just adore her. I think we all adore her. I th I'm sure you guys are well aware of who she is, but she did this amazing, oh my gosh, where's this? Oh, here it is. I have this lipstick out because I've been, I've been using it a lot. Um, so she did two lipsticks, two lip liners, and this candle. And I think this candle uh, wasn't actually available, um, but she and Christian Audette decided that people needed to have it. So I think it is now available or will be available on the Christian Audette site soon. But this candle, it smells like slightly fruity with like a toasted marshmallow thing going on. It's so interesting because you can smell like both of the fragrances like distinctly, but they also work really well together. So that's the candle and look, it has a cute little fox on there. I love the fox. Um, so that's the candle and then, oh, is there like a name for it? No, I think it's just the Mel Thompson candle. So let me show you the lipsticks. One is Beauty. This is the one that I've been using a lot. Here is the packaging. So it's white, it has um, Christian, Audette, and then Mel Thompson underneath. This is magnetized. And then there's like gold accents there. So this is the Beauty lipstick. It is what Mel says, her perfect nude. And I have to agree, it's stunning. It's a great formula. It's comfortable on the lips. It lasts a fairly long time, even though it's a cream formula. It's just gorgeous. I love it. 
and it has that like typical kind of like vanilla scent in there absolutely stunning i love it so that is beauty and then the other color she did is puffin and i was like girl you're killing me with this color you guys know how much i love uh warm kind of like orange leaning reds and this is it this is so amazing look at this color it's stunning stunning it's like neon isn't that amazing and then two lip liners we have kitten and we have smooches i have been wearing smooches more than kitten kitten is a little bit light for me it's not too light for me i just personally prefer lip liners that like contour my lips a little bit more um, but they're both gorgeous so this one is smooches so this is the one that i've been wearing more and this is such a smooth pencil just glides right on and it's one of those uh, pencils that you sharpen and then here is kitten so there's kitten which is a great match for beauty and there's smooches so those are the christian audette mel thompson collab pieces gorgeous for just four pieces it's like she knocked it out of the park of course amazing absolutely amazing so huge huge congratulations to mel thompson on this wildly successful collab because this is absolutely amazing and thank you so so much for sending it over to me i will cherish these things forever <laughs> thank you so so much and then kipris beauty which is uh one of my all-time favorite skincare lines they just came out with the new moisturizer it's called puff of love and i've only played with it once and I need to get through some other things because I really want to just dive into this. I really just want to use it like every single day and see what happens, if anything. Um, but so far, so good. It's really lovely. It has a nice like pudding like texture. Well, let me show you the jar first. So this is Puff of Love. So on the box, it says a golden gift of botanical love, a nurturing day or night, lightweight moisturizer infused with nature's most loving botanicals and green biotechnology's most kind actives. Um, so you can use this uh, morning and night, face, neck, decollete, and then for best results, apply over your favorite Kipper serums and elixirs. So let me just open this up and show you what it looks like. It almost looks like like custard, like good enough to eat. So if you guys don't know anything about Kipris, well, definitely check out their website because they will describe it in much more detail than I ever could, but they are an organic uh, skincare brand and they also work with very small farmers so they use ingredients that come in like micro batches and you can tell like their products are so impeccable impeccable i just ran out of their serum and their oil and i'm trying to you know play with other things or whatever but i'm definitely definitely going through withdrawal i love their uh, cleanser i love their body oil so i'm really excited to give this a shot I, when it comes to skincare, I really like to just introduce one thing at a time. So I'm introducing that clay de pot oil. It's been a couple of days. It seems fine. I'm going to go with it for, you know, maybe a full week and then I will move over to this. So I will definitely report back to you on this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it because I love everything Kipris. So that is their new puff of love moisturizer. And then Laneige sent me through Octoly this um, Kiss Me All Day, like three piece set. Why is this so dusty? Sorry. This three piece set here. So I had purchased this grapefruit version of this lip glowy balm. Um, I think during the summer Sephora VIB sale, like the one that happened in August or something. Anyway, I think I purchased it then and I really enjoy it. This one's grapefruit. And so when I saw that there was a pack of three that didn't include grapefruit, but include peach and pear, which were the two that I really wanted to try. Um, the berry, I'm not the biggest fan of, even though I generally like berry. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this one, but I love the pear and the peach. So I'm just a big, big fan of this lip balm. So it has a screw off top and then it has a tip and you just kind of squeeze like kind of a, like a typical lip balm. I love this grapefruit scent. It's so fresh but what i like is that it's not overpowering i know a lot of people are obsessed with um their lip sleeping mask and i purchased it in the berry flavor but i find that it's um it's it's a little overpowering it's like i smell the berry flavor all day every day and i don't really like that i like that these at least the grapefruit one i don't i don't know about these but at least the grapefruit one the scent just kind of like slowly fades away which is nice so that is the kiss me all day three-piece set from laneige and i think that this is part of like 
like their holiday 2019 collection because this would make a great great gift for someone that you know loves their lip balm loves laneige this is perfect absolutely perfect because if you're a lip balm nut you know you know that you need more than one you need one in your car in your handbag in your vanity at your desk in your coat pocket like yeah you definitely need all three so thank you so much to laneige and octalie for sending this over to me and then i got this package from a company i never heard of iris and romeo okay so this is what the product is it's very heavy uh, best skin days is what it's called five in one skincare dewy coverage broad spectrum spf 25 and the sunscreen in here is zinc oxide which is good it is a physical uh, sunscreen. Oh, neat. So it's like a foundation. It's like a cream foundation, but a five-in-one skincare kind of cream foundation. It has a very, very light scent. Yeah, it's like a cream foundation. It's a little bit looser than a cream, I would say. Oh, it feels nice. It feels very soft, moisturizing, and the tint is very, very light. So it's a kind of like a light coverage. Let's see what else it says. Um, protect you against UVA, UVB, blue light pollution, and more. Uh, this skincare meets makeup game changer promotes skin wellness for firmer, glowing, juicy skin instantly and over time. Oh my God, the founder and CEO is a Michelle with one L. Oh. Oh yeah, so they sent over basically the same product but in different shades. So this is medium. I'm not gonna open these because I can either donate or give away or something. Here's light medium. Oh, and here is tan. So this is probably their deepest shade. Oh, how cool. Oh, I'm glad I opened up the light. <laughs> that was purely, purely coincidental. So I'm glad I opened up the light. That is going to be the one that works for me. So if you guys want a wear test of this, Iris and Romeo, let me know. That's very, very interesting. So a very, very big thank you to Iris and Romeo for sending over their new Best Skin Days. Thank you so much. And one of my subscribers sent this to me. I, I mean, I love getting gifts from you. Thank you so, so much, but you never ever have to send me anything. I really appreciate it. So she sent over one of her favorite lipsticks by Julie Hewitt. I had never heard of this brand or this person. I believe she is a makeup artist and has worked with people like JLo. Uh, I'll just leave it there, JLo. And look how cool this lipstick package is. Isn't that neat? And then here is the color. So, oh, you guys know me so well. Look at that color. It's like a metallic nude. Isn't that just stunning? Oh my God, I absolutely love it. So thank you so, so much for sending this over to me. You know who you are. I'm not going to say your name. I don't want to, you know, announce it or anything. But thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Thank you so, so much. So that is it for this haul. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me, spending some time with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.